All right, so what is power? Power is a rate. Well, let's make that look nicer. Power is a rate. Well, what kind of a rate is power? It's the rate at which electric energy the electric energy in in current is transformed into mechanical energy heat or even energy that is stored in magnetic fields and I'll abbreviate that as mag fields mag fields that's what power is it's the rate at which this transformation takes place now Usually I've been using V for voltage, but it's time to make the change. E is usually used is the letter is the current favored the later letter for voltage. So E will be used for voltage. E equals voltage. From now on. Unless I slip up and forget. <laughs> Muscle memory just automatically start using V. That happens. And P is used for power. P is used for power. I need a little bit more fighting room here. Hold on. And what was that here? There we go. P is used for power. And P has a standard unit of measure. Power has a standard unit of measure, and that is the watt. Watt is the standard unit of measure. Measure. That's good spelling. Measure for power. Ah, okay. Now there are a couple of formulas that are associated with power. Oh, I need more room again. Down we go. So what are these formulas that are associated with power? Well, you just have to remember one of them. And you can derive all of them from, from that one. So P equals equals voltage times current. That's the main formula. So what we do is we re, we substitute. Oh, try it in two places here. That was super duper bad line. Let me get a better line. Better. And that's the other one. Of course, also starts from P equals. E times I. So in the first derivation, we take voltage E and we substitute it with E equals I times R. And so I'll take this, substitute with I times R, bring down this I. Now I have I times R times I, and that means I squared times R. So that's our first derived formula P equals I squared times R. In the next derivation we'll substitute not E but I. Now current uh, voltage equals I times R. I is equal to voltage over R. E over R. And so I bring down this E and now power is equal to E times E over R. Now we can combine these into E times E, that's E squared over R. And so I have my second derived formula, which is P equals E squared over R. 
So now we have two of them. P equals I squared times R. And P equals E squared over R. Now all these formulas work and work rather well. But there's one condition. And the condition is that they only work when the units are in ohms, amps, volts, or watts. Otherwise, trouble. They won't work. Difficulties. Okay, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. This is uh, George Bull. George Bull saying bye bye.